This episode's gonna blow your mind because I turned kingfish into lobster. This is known as the poor man's lobster. Is this kingfish gonna taste like lobster? Let's take a piece and find out. Oh shit! <laughs> wow, look at that. Teeth! That's what we're talking about right there. Woo! Today is one of those days where you have to make a bigger mess before things get cleaner. So the man cave is very messy. But only because I am installing a whole shelving unit here and there and it's gonna be a fisherman's paradise. We're gonna have a rigging station, uh, a new chest freezer, ice maker, fridge. All of this is gonna be set up for rigging. And look at these beautiful, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous sea witches we got set up. We have a pink and blue and a white and purple. We're going to be trolling bonita strips on those sea witches. Those are on 50 wides and we're gonna have them on planers because the Wahoo are running. So we're gonna troll two planers, but that's not all. We also have a black and purple and we also added some gold in there. This is just a feather with a J hook inside of it. And we're gonna be trolling this on the Salus X 5000 reel from PC Fun, 18% off with code SFFC18 at PCFun.com. We're gonna be trolling this guy. That feather is gonna go way back and the fun does not stop there. We have two spinning reels with big old top water plugs. <laughs> and if things get really crazy, we have a J hook to a stinger hook treble hook wire rig setup where we can put a live tuna on if we catch a small tuna we're gonna put them on the wire chuck them out tomorrow we're chasing monsters the wahoo are running and also big kingfish and big tuna it is 10 p.m i gotta be up at six in the morning i should be in bed already but first we need to cook some food that's gonna power us through tomorrow Ooh, look at them steaks boy Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Check it out. This is the new South Florida Fishing Channel rain jacket. Now available on SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. This is the extra large, and I also have a large, but because I'm wearing a sweater under it, I'm, I'm wearing the extra large to make some room. <sighs> All right, it's early in the morning. Early, early. It is 6, 10 in the morning. I think Jordan is just about to get here. Let's go fishing. Oh, and guess what I got? Some of that steak I made last night, I chopped up and put in a container, so we got some fresh steak for breakfast. Looking good. Yeah, the pretty rods. All the good stuff. All right, we are untied up here. We sure we got everything, right? <laughs> all right, we are on the boat. Got all the rods loaded down. There's our beautiful teasers, and look at this sunrise behind us <laughs> is that not a beautiful sunrise all right we better get going about time to take off Sometimes there's like a back pl plate. All right. Dude, we're, if we lose our rods, it doesn't even matter. <clears throat> All right, I should probably get us trolling. Oh my, bait, there is bait underwater. Yeah. There's something, probably wahoos, like thousands of them. <laughs> All right, we are in 110 feet of water. Jordan's back there putting the feather out. And uh, Bonita strips. It's a little rocky, but I think uh, we go, we're about to catch a big fish. I just saw a fish jump. S some bait, yeah. Oh, there's the sun. Much needed. 
potential fish on. I think I see the planer. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. I got the gas. There is a fish on there. <laughs> Well, 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 look at that. Oh, and we're heading right for a buoy. Yeah, the pliers are in the bucket. Oh, nice. Dude. Let me, oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're, mar we're marking now. That bird better not grab our uh, feather. Just keep trolling, just keep trolling. Dude, those guys are driving crazy. <laughs> what the heck? Might have a fish on here. All right, I'll straighten us out here. Small fish, but a fish nonetheless. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Looks like the bait started biting a they started biting a little later today. 9.30. We are clear of buoys. <laughs> Is this going to be a gaffer or a flicker? Oh, old flicker? Okay. That looks like a kingfish. All right. Woo. All right. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I almost fell. Dude, that's a good, that's a chonker. Yeah. Uh, of course, I gotta, you know, get the get the big camera out. Oh, you want to hold them up? Oh, dude, yeah. yeah, that's what we're talking about right there. Woo! Here, it's better to bleed them in here in the uh, live well. Die, die, die! <laughs> All right, he's bleeding out. There we go. Fish on a bigger one. A bigger one. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got another big fish on, or the biggest fish of the day. I'll make sure we don't hit any buoys out here. Some crab traps, pop, them damn pots all over the place. Woo! Oh, like, oh, cause the planter's still down. Oh, I was so excited. It was a false alarm. Potential fish. Maybe, maybe. Gotta be. Yeah, yeah, that planer is popped. Oh, there's a fish on there. Oh, we got the uh, spear fishers right ahead of us. So I'm gonna have to turn us here. Oh, what is. <laughs> oh, hey! Another king. It might be a smoking kind of day. Pliers uh, should be in this bucket. Uh, okay. Wow, look at that teeth. Yeah. Another one in the box. <laughs> the kings are biting. I'm happy about that. No, he busted off. That was a big fish. That was him. That was him. Yep, that was him. No. <laughs> Did, did, did he cut the line? Oh, we just had a big boy on here. A big boy. Dude, I was gonna, I was saying too, I'm like, wow, here we go. We're about to hook up right here. Oh no. Holy moly. <laughs> Is that your sappy? Yeah. Well, and the battle continues. We got a fish on the feather. He, we've probably been dragging him for a while. Oh yeah, that right there is a little bonita. Ooh. What happened to your uh, bonita strip there? Just, just bit off? Damn, we got bit off. We were just trolling nothing for who knows how long. You want a beer or anything? I got one in here somewhere under all these. Oh yeah, nice, nice fish juice beer. I need to start bringing a separate cooler for drinks. The water is warm. 
Yeah. Oh, it's a lot warmer than the air. Woo! We just made it back to the house. Ah, nice and warm. I am going to grab a nice little fillet knife and we are going to go clean them kingfish right now. It's nice and warm out here. Feels great. Let's hammer them out. I just need, uh, I'm just going to take one, one sliver of one of these guys. Beautiful, nice little slab of meat. And that is one half kingfish done. And there we have it, half of a kingfish. Nice little chunk of meat there that we'll be cooking up later. I am going to clean the boat now and Jordan already left. He had a nice huge bag of kingfish that he's gonna take back to his neighborhood and they're gonna have a freaking cookout. But I'm gonna try to do something super special with this kingfish right here. Something I haven't done before. Keep it exciting, but you're just gonna have to stay tuned to see what we do in the kitchen. We are in the kitchen and I have this beautiful bag of kingfish. Jordan took the other bag of kingfish back, which was almost an entire full Ziploc bag. It was like this fat. And he's gonna be sharing all that kingfish with the OGs over at where he's at, and they love kingfish. It's always fun to spread some love, right? And I said I was gonna do a recipe I've never done before, and this one is called Poor Man's Lobster using kingfish. And I wanna give a shout out to my follower on Instagram that recommended this recipe, Jason Norton. Thanks for sending me the recipe, man. And also shout out to Gary Finch Outdoors on YouTube. This is actually his recipe. And um, I watched the video of him cooking it. So Gary Finch, let's try your recipe. I got some chopped up garlic, which I'm gonna put in this pan here. We're gonna roast it. While that garlic roasts, we are going to make a concoction that we're gonna poach the kingfish in. And that is gonna consist of some lemon, Cut that bad boy in half and squeeze it in there. Both halves, squeeze. Oh, and then drop the halves in there. Also squeeze a lime in there. So one lime, one lemon. It's like milking a cow. We will also be adding a couple of bay leaves. Maybe like uh, three bay leaves. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's make it four. This right here is a homemade concoction. This is chili sauce that I have marinating with red pepper. So it's got a nice chili sauce spice to it. Just pour a... Whoop. All right, that's good, that's good. Now we're gonna be taking the South Florida Fishing Channel Fish and Game Seasoning Bayside. You could also use Old Bay or Old Bay Spicy, but this has even more flavor than Old Bay. You can support the channel, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Get yourself some Bayside. It'll change the game for you. And we're gonna put a hefty, hefty, hefty portion of this in there. We are not gonna go light on the Bayside. No way, Jose. A few moments later. All right. And then we also wanna give it a spice. In this case, we're gonna use the Fish and Game seasoning, the Reaper. Instead of cayenne, we're gonna use the Reaper, which has an even bigger, better punch. But if you don't have this, cayenne pepper works great. But when you got the Reaper, why use anything else? Okay, whoops, there goes the lid. <laughs> great. Did you think we were done? Nope, not yet. One last thing, add some hot sauce. In this case, we're using the Tabasco Habanero. This is one of my, I'm not a huge Tabasco fan, but the Tabasco Habanero, that's on a different level. We'll give it a nice splish splash. I'm taking a bath. Ooh, is that a pool party? Please invite me. And that sounds ah, good right there, woo. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna add some water to that and we're gonna bring it not to a boil, not even to a simmer. We just want it to get hot, just about to simmer, and then we're gonna add the fish. 
Ooh, the garlic's getting hot. All right, I'm gonna add some butter on there. We're gonna make a ro garlic roasted butter sauce that we're gonna end up pouring on top of the kingfish at the end here. I'm gonna reduce the heat on that a little bit. We just want this to kind of simmer a little bit, get that garlic nice and cooked, and absorb that garlic right into that butter. I'm thinking we could even use more butter. How much more butter? A lot more butter. Ho <laughs> more butter, more better, baby. While we wait for our Bayside Cajun bowl there to come to temperature, we're gonna take our kingfish. Whoa, that is beautiful kingfish. No bloodline, no bones, like perfect. That is exactly how you want it. Nice and dry too, because of the paper towels. This is gonna taste excellent. There's a little bit of bloodline on this one. You can see that red bloodline. We're gonna cut that off because that could cause some funny taste in your fish. I will just cut that off. We will cut that off and we will give it to the pussy cat. Captain Elliot loves himself some fresh fish. And the rest of this, we are going to cube up into basically just imagine it as bite-sized lobster pieces. Because you're gonna be eating this as if it were lobster. So just like nice pieces of lobster. We're, we're just gonna start calling this lobster now. This is no longer kingfish. This is lobster. This is the poor man's lobster. And we're about to blow your mind. And to think, all these times that you caught kingfish and you're like, oh man, it's a kingfish. You could have been eating lobster this whole time. Our little Cajun broth here is starting to steam just a little bit. It's not boiling, but we know it's kind of warm, hot, which means it's ready to go. But I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Yeah, salt never hurt nobody. And then we're gonna take our beautiful pieces of kingfish and we're just gonna drop them in there. And the key here is for the kingfish to cook very slowly. If you cook it too fast, uh, like if you drop it in boiling water, it'll just flake very quickly and fall apart. But if you cook it very slow, it'll hold its shape better and it'll be a little more uh, chewy. No, chewy's not the right word. It'll be more wholesome and tender, like a piece of lobster. If you take a very close look at the kingfish, you will notice that it's starting to turn kind of white, just slowly turning white. That is exactly what we want. It is just very slowly cooking. The slower, the better. We'll give it maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna reduce the heat even more and then it should be ready to go. Notice how the fish is staying together in a nice chunk and it's not flaking apart. It's exactly what we want right there. I have had this on the lowest heat setting possible. I can't put it on a lower heat setting for about 15 minutes now. I have no idea if the kingfish is all the way cooked through. Um, why don't I grab a piece? Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh, it's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. <sighs> oh, okay. <sighs> all right, that is a lobstery looking piece of kingfish. Let's give it a quick try before we make it taste even better, but let's just make sure it's cooked. Oh, oh damn. Mm. I'm putting that back in. That is cooked. Let's prepare a plate. We are about to make a bowl of heaven. First, we will add one of the lemon wedges and one of the lime wedges, just to give a little color profile and a little zest in our bowl. That's a good sounding bowl. Next, we're gonna add all the kingfish, and it's okay if some of your juices get in there too. Just put it all in there, and notice how the kingfish is staying together in a very lobstery, meaty, kind of chunky way. It's not flaking apart like something like a snapper would. It is perfect. Look at these chunks of meat, chunks of lobster, all right? We're officially calling it lobster. From now on, that's it. This is gonna be quite the feast. We are almost done. Now, no lobster is complete without some roasted garlic butter drizzled on top like it's our job. That was a lot of butter 
and I don't regret it. Look at all that butter sitting at the bottom of the bowl. We can make sure we really juice it up in there. We also have some fresh cut green onions right out of my garden. Drizzle that on top. We'll take a just a pinch of parsley. Just let it fall like a light snow. Bam, right on top. And then we're even gonna take some Parmesan and just give it a light little sprinkle. <laughs> I've outdone myself. I've done it. Are you hitting the like button? I sure hope you're hitting that like button because this, this is on a different level. Damn. Oh, damn. Look at that butter just flowing down in there. Oh, that lobster is submerged in garlic roasted butter. Holy smokes. Do y'all believe this? Look at that butter in there. I would tilt the bowl more, but the butter will pour out. But the roasted garlic laying on top of that kingfish, just a little piece of roasted garlic. Mm. This might be, I, I think I outdid myself this time. Let's just give it a try and see what we're working with. Is it gonna taste like lobster? If you look at the texture, it looks like lobster. It's got that like jiggle that lobster has. So I'm already like impressed. Okay, you will not believe me if I told you that tastes like lobster. This is not clickbait. No, mm -mm. no. No, no, this can't be, this can't be real. Okay, we're gonna have to make a video where I blindfold a couple people and we give them lobster and we give them this. I'm genuinely, I'm, I believe you, people will think this is lobster. This is insane. The flavors are just so, it's not even the flavor, it's the texture. The texture is like lobster and there's no fishy flavor at all. There's no kingfish, fishy oiliness at all. It's like a, it tastes like a white meat with the texture of lobster, with the flavor of butter and that Cajun-y Bayside. It, it's got a touch of that and it's just, this is next level. I hope you guys super enjoyed this video. I told you I was gonna step up my cooking game and we're doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video at the end. You can support me and this helps so much just by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. And hey, if you want to splooge, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. We got merch on there, seasonings, and all the fishing tackle you could ever need to fish South Florida or any of Florida. Or we have panfish hooks too, freshwater stuff, sheep's head stuff. Man, we, we, we got beach fishing gear. We got it all. So check out the website and I'll see you guys on the very next episode. Cheers. Mm -hmm.